Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we will be covering the complete lore of the Yule units in Signalis. This will cover combat and details given to us from notes, as well as details we can learn from other means. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Euler units, or Einfach Universell Litte Replicas, more commonly known as Yul, are simple universal light replicas of Generation 4. These units are the standard unit of the Yusan nation, deployed in all sorts of domestic tasks, including serving as cooks, nurses, cleaners, simple office workers, and teachers. Their name, Yul, is a reference to the German word for owl. Yules are not designed to be used in combat scenarios. They have a lightweight frame that really doesn't work in direct combat, and that's just not their purpose. Instead, they are seen as prime candidates for isolated and distant facilities where supplies may be limited. They're useful as being a cheap-to-produce unit that's just used for normal, everyday tasks. By the events of the game, though, most jewels have been corrupted. These lost replicas usually are armed with knives they likely obtained from their original roles as cooks. Knives they will now use against you. You will serve as the standard enemy in the game. Using debug, we can learn they have 35 HP, and as of such are really not a major threat, requiring 2-3 to three well-aimed pistol shots to bring down in standard, and they also usually travel in groups of 2-3, to three, making them dangerous only because they will attempt to overwhelm you with numbers if you are not careful. Later into the game, they corrupt further, raising their HP to 50, and they are now going to require around 3 SMG bursts to bring down in standard. Yules, also like most other replicas, are going to revive if the body is not burned. You can tell if a Yule will revive or not based on if its eyes are colored or not, so if the dead body of the Yule has white or red eyes, it is most likely going to come back in a little bit. Later into the game though, typically they will travel with other units. These can be anything ranging from Storches to Mjainas. During Rotfront, the Yules will have a slightly darker head and look a little bit different than in the rest of the game. Should be noted if you allow a Yule to revive, it will not return with the full HP, instead only returning with 30 HP. So it should be a little bit easier to put them down again. We can learn more about Yules from their overview page. Yuler is a 4th generation low cost general purpose replica, they are biomechanical with a polyethylene shell, and they are around 175 centimeters tall. Yuler units are the backbone of the Yusan nation's workforce. These elegant multi-purpose per worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking, and simple medical and office work. Yules are highly social and get along well with each other, as well as most other replica models. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a perfect choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. In replica known issues, we can find more problems that arise with these units. Yules tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance as their original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through either tape players or a musical instrument. Always place at least one mirror in a Yule dorm, as they have a strong urge to constantly check their own appearance at regular intervals. Yule's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance through regular social interactions. Yule's will often organize in groups of around 10 units and will give each other different themed nicknames. We can learn more about one specific Yule in the medical bay from the reports on patient Yuler S2321. This report also helps us learn more about how the infection progresses in general. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches, admitted to hospital wing after vomiting oxygen fluid after work. Clinical picture in line with other recent cases among protector staff. While we still have no indication what causes this syndrome, we've observed similar developments in all patients. Most puzzlingly, development of the syndrome seems to progress similarly in both replica and gestalt patients. Initial admissions tests show hypertension, high fever, dehydration, and, and internal hemorrhaging. Strong cognitive decline within first cycle, apoplexia, and purpa. Within five cycles, skin will begin to peel in large patches. Decline of vision quality and ability to communicate may follow. Stole patients will usually expire at this stage in, due to infection, while results for replica patients do seem to vary. Going to service request form R90, we can learn about a request for a better map module from one Yuler named Yuler S2303 Mars. 
data filing, service request form 84213. Full protector ID of unit firing request, your S2303. Status, staff, department, kitchen staff, worker quarters. Object, your RKM7 spatial navigation module. Note, my mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep getting lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in a hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my dorm. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. Mars. Your S2308 is a part of the Protector Accommodations Management. She sends an envoy to S23 Service Cadre Ara S2314, supplying her with a high voltage fuse that she suggested and needed and we personally use in the game as part of the fuse puzzle. We can learn more about the Yules in general from the Sapiensk dorm for the Yulers. This small room contains around 12 beds or 6 bunk beds for the Yules to sleep in. The corner of the room contains a mirror, an integral part of their persona maintenance, and looking around you can also see a destroyed tape player, with a tape next to it, this being the tape that plays a song required for the owl puzzle, this song being Swan Light by Petra Ilyak Saivatsky. Reading the notes scattered around the level that pertain to this room, we can come to somewhat of an understanding of what happened. This first note, from a storch, tells us a bit of details. I'm officially sick of the Yules next door. They've been listening to that stupid song non-stop since the piano room was locked down. If I have to hear it one more time, I'm going over there and smashing that stupid tape recorder to pieces. I wonder if there's a way we can borrow a key so we can get into their room and put an end to this madness. I don't care about breaking quarantine if it means never having to hear that song again. This explains that the Storch likely snuck over to their dorm and impaled the music player with a knife to silence the song, in the process causing mass persona degradation of the Yules and spreading the corruption. There are two living Yules by the events of the game, who survived this event likely, and the first can be found in the nurse's office. The Yule found in the nurse's office is referred to in the code as Yule S2312, and is the only Yule with lines. Speaking with her, she says the following. Everyone's turned weird. I'm the only one left, I think. Why did sick like the others too? I'm scared. I don't want to die. You look kind of familiar. Have we met before? At first, it was only Commander Falk who fell ill. Slowly, everyone started behaving strangely. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't want to become like the others. I don't want to die. There was another Yule found within the mine shafts with the wounded star S23 question mark. She's unnamed and has no lines of her own, though. To close out, it is implied that the Yules serve as teachers at Mandelbrot Polytechnic Obershol School, where Arion and Isa both attended. Sorry if I pronounced that absolutely horrid. And this is implied by a line from Isa's perspective during the memory sequence that takes place in this building. Yule wipes it clean before she can note it down, so I have to copy notes from Erica. This means that Arion, Isa, and Erika were all taught by Yule teachers here. It also means that the teacher's evaluation Arion Yon note was written most likely by a Yule. And the teacher Arion is referring to in the cycle 648 note is also likely a Yule. It is also likely the reason why Yules appear in such high numbers in the re-education level on Sipiansk, both the regular re-education and the corrupted re-education later in the game. That is all I've got for you guys today. It's a collection of every note, bit of lore, and details we've got on the Yules. I hope that this was entertaining, and if you did, feel free to sub or not. Also in the description, I'll have both the unofficial Signalis Discord server, as well as my main server, VSL. If you're a Signalis player, check these places out to find fellow players to talk to and theorize about the game. If you would like to note what work I did on the wiki for this video, I will also have the Euler wiki page linked below, which is what I worked on to produce this video. But that's all I've got, so this has been Christopher Beast, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.